Aquarius. What's <laughs> up, Aquarius? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. Well, I guess I ain't supposed to use this for y'all, or maybe I'm supposed to sage it. Okay, yeah, we had to run some sage across that and me. Just got done with Gemini's energy. So let's see what's popping for the sign of Aquarius for the last half of January for this bi-weekly reading, okay? So let's see what's coming in for the sign of Aquarius. For some odd reason, this deck's still popping and I want to use it so bad because I love using these for the bi-weeklies. Okay, uh-oh, y'all got somebody that's coming back from, whoa, <laughs> Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node, okay, all right, this one, okay, Archangel Michael, so you guys are protected, your children are protected as well, for those of you that have children, if not just your inner child, like, yeah, you guys can be really pure and, you know, innocent. King of Scrolls, wow, we got the bad advice bringer again. Uh, somebody here is seeking knowledge is what I'm getting. Somebody here is losing their position. Losing their position. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so I had to see. But, yeah, this is saying that this can be... Uh, the indication of a separation from a man who can be often too analytical and who can tend to overthink. And it may be a loss of a friend, a co-worker, or even a love relationship. Sometimes this reversal indicates that a man of learning, communication, or teaching, whether this is you or another person, could be losing their position at this time. So this could be somebody that you know that have like a speaking job, like a speaking position. Like they may have a position online. This may be a male, like maybe they a motivational speaker or they have like a podcast or um you know they have they have some type of social media presence or some public presence okay and they could be losing that position and this could be like a um like somebody that you looked up to or even like a co-worker to you that had a sense of authority Okay, so the person may also be experiencing a blockage in understanding. Receiving this card reverse puts you on notice to think things through and gain the clarity needed to relieve this confusion. This is a good time to try to get a broader perspective on things. Okay, so somebody here that was just like over analytical or whatever the case is, they could be <clears throat> losing a position in your life and at work. Oh my God, you got multiple masculines coming in if I'm talking to feminine Aquarius. Wow, y'all got multiple masculines coming in. Okay, so you got a king of king of forces and a king of roses. So you got a king of romance and then you got this primal king. Like this is the type of king, this is the type of man that to go out and kill the food, build a fire, build a house from the ground up. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I don't know, but he that type of guy. So this is like a, a handyman, but like very in a primal way, like a very beneficial way. This person is also very intuitive and magical as well. This person may work with the elements, so they also can be like some type of ma magician. And then you got somebody here that's like, uh, like romantic. Like whoever this person is, it's like they focus. This person could be like writing music about you or poems or like uh, reciting something that they want to say to you. Okay, yeah. Some of you guys can be empty nesters or getting ready to be. Or like if you were living with roommates or living with your parents, that's something that's coming to an end, Aquarius. Wow. Okay, legal issues are coming to an end as well at the end of January 2023 for those of you that uh, experienced that. You guys are passing some type of initiation, but y'all need to like reopen your heart space because like being a messenger of God could have been really tough on y'all for this past cycle. So it's like make sure y'all doing y'all like heart chakra attunement. All right, so something here, uh, something, some seeds that was planted in the autumn is going to be blooming in the springtime. So, yeah, y'all got about, like, four months or April until y'all start to see things really transform. But something is happening here. It's like, 
I don't know why, but I feel like an air sign is losing a position in, in your life, but they also losing a job. Yeah, a king of cups. I feel like the king of cups is the king of roses, and I feel like this king of forces is like the king of wands or something. Yeah. But it's like whoever this is, this person may be somebody that's supposed to move on from you, but they looking back. They may be a lone wolf. Okay, and they may be very sexual because I see elks as very sexual creatures. Okay, yeah, like somebody have, like, you got multiple, like, roads to take. And I feel like it's confusing to you. It's confusing. It's stressful. Y'all may be having a lot of dreams or nightmares or whatever. Y'all here go the King of Wands, the King of Cups, and the King of Wands. As the King of Swords and Reverse is losing his position in your life. I don't know who this is, who that is to you, but you're going to be narrow, narrowing down options by the end of this month. You will be choosing a path, but the fact that you have two paths is being presented to you in the next two weeks, okay? So, yeah, this is something new for y'all. Y'all didn't know this. So, it could just be like multiple people bombarding y'all at the same time, Aquarius, okay? And you having a lot of options, but it's like you knowing that you need to close out some options or whatever to move forward with somebody but y'all is showing up as the queen of pentacles so this is making me wonder like do you feel like any of these people are your match because you got three kings here but none of them is the king of pentacles i don't feel unless the forces is the king of pentacles because this is that earthly energy you see how he all in nature and he using the elements but this is somebody that's intuitive sexual and a loner is what I'm feeling from this energy here. And then you got this King of Cups type energy, like the King of Romance. Like he may not say it, but he show it with flowers and whatever. So this could be more of like a King of Pentacles energy, but I was getting King of Wands from him. Yeah, especially because the King like Wands, Wands family be giving me very much magical vibes. Yeah, y'all know who y'all love and who y'all don't. Okay, so y'all know how to differentiate love and lust. Y'all know who y'all truly invested with. And y'all know who just temptation. I feel like for a very long time, y'all could have been confused. But now y'all know, like, who to walk away from so that y'all can get y'all legacy. Yeah, because y'all know who long term is. And there's somebody here that's hoping that you ignore your intuition about everything. Wow, y'all. So we ain't even, I don't know, we may or may not, like, I don't know. Let's see who the King of Forces is, because I'm trying to figure out if that's, like, representing the King of Wands or not, or if it's if he represents the King of Pentacles, because I could really get both vibes off of him, especially with, like, sexual, but, like, resourceful. Why is the King of Forces here? Who is this King of Forces energy? Oh, this is a karmic. Oh, yeah. King of Wands, Queen of Wands vibes, y'all. More sexual energy. So that's this. That's this person. And this person got their eye on you. They fixated on you, Aquarius. This person want to have sex with you. They want to move forward. Like, this person want forward movement, positive forward movement. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles. So maybe they showing up as the King of Wands because they single. Okay, and because they're very sexual, very, giving me very much kundalini, very much tantra vibes, 42 positions of tantra type shit, 43 positions, I'm not sure. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's like this person, they see you as like very motherly, intuitive, you know, luxurious and grounded. And they just see you as like down to earth, like they don't see you as like this raunchy woman, so they know that they got to come at you differently. Well, who is the King of Cups here? Who is the King of Forces? I'm, I don't know why, but I feel like clarifying these up here. Why is the King of Roses here? This is somebody. Oh, man. Yo, this is someone. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out, like, did they just end the cycle with somebody else? This is somebody that healed. This can be an Aquarius as well. Or this is somebody you want, Aquarius. This is somebody that you see as your wish fulfillment, this King of Cups. 
Yeah, this person had to heal. They was in despair. They went through some type of tower. A contract ended for them. King of Scrolls in reverse. Who is this to you? Yeah. Ooh, somebody that's going to jail. That's how they lose in a position. A decision they made is getting them caught up. Wow. Okay, so you got three men here. One of them, it's like you love them, but this person had to end some type of cycle to be with you. The other one, you see this person as karmic. You might feel like this person is karmic, but this person feel like, you know, you worth the change. <laughs> In their life, y'all. This is so crazy. Like, what? This is so nuts. Okay, King of Cups. It's almost like I'm clarifying them twice. Because they already came out in the overall energy. And yeah, King of Cups. Sunglasses. King of Cups been watching. They've been stalking you. They've been focused on you. Two of Wands. You got a lot of obsession energy. Yeah, you got options. You definitely do. You got options and you got decisions to make. It's like you try not to string people along. Like one of these men that come back, y'all might sleep with them before y'all let them go. Oh, wow, Aquarius. Somebody like really a decision may have costed them everything. And it's like right as somebody losing everything, you gaining it all. You gaining love, you gaining money. You know, um, perspective, everything, apologies from people, seven of cups in reverse. Yeah. You, yeah, whoever you feel like is a narcissist here, you feel like this person's love is not unconditional. You feel like this person is coming in for a reason. And y'all are ending old cycles because one of these people want to propose to you. So, y'all, wow, y'all might, for some of you, y'all might actually be getting proposed to. For others of you, it's like that person is just on their way to, like, being to that level, okay? So crazy. Somebody is really ready to make some type of commitment. And it's like, y'all got to let go of whatever is. And it's crazy because it's saying the girl in the snake in reverse. And the snake came out with the king of wands. So it's like this person, they do mirror you in a sense, especially sexually. Like you and this person may have a similar sex style, sex drive, whatever the case is. So I feel like this person pleases you. It could have been really hard to let this person go, but it's like they reflect your own wounds. They was the catalyst to your introspection. So when you left this person, you could have spent a lot of time alone and you could have figured out in that time alone that this person, like whatever y'all had was not unconditional, okay? And it wasn't something that you could take into the long haul. So that's who y'all walking away from in order to give some type of, um, yeah, y'all coming into abundance, baby. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. Y'all moving forward. Y'all wedding rings. Y'all listen. Y'all getting per. Y'all getting prepared to be somebody's wife. Y'all got a soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise, and y'all been preparing yourself. Y'all making healthier choices because y'all loving from a healed heart. Look at that healing heart, healthy choices. That's crazy. Yeah, y'all moving away from this karmic relationship and y'all running. Like, when I say y'all running, it's like, no. Y'all hauling ass. And y'all moving towards something much better. Wedding, ring, wedding rings. So, engagement ring is definitely going to become an, a wedding ring. Y'all closing out cycles of the past with a soulmate. Alright? So, I don't know who... Yeah, y'all got somebody from the past that's going to jail because of some decisions that they made. Somebody else, y'all deciding like, no. Okay. Ace of Cups in reverse. Stabbed in the back. Damn. Maybe your twin stabbed you in the back. Or, like, all of these other people stabbed you in the back. Now y'all going to go be with y'all twin flame. <laughs> you just realize that these people, um, yeah, because y'all keep getting a snake, okay? 
this karmic got this karmic masculine got a snake attached to him and y'all feel like this person just keep doing the same shit y'all not y'all not about to like invest in that anymore y'all really are ready to like go like get into something that's gonna like move to the next phase y'all don't want to repeat the same cycle okay y'all y'all feel like you guys are finally telling these people that ghosted you that's trying to come back when things get good for you or whatever or when things are about to start getting good for you that if you wasn't good enough for them then you ain't never gonna be good enough for them that y'all spent y'all time becoming you know happy with y'all own energy and you know y'all let them go and now it's time for them to do the same thing for y'all it's like because y'all moving into something else here and it's an upgrade you guys are also protected here because archangel michael was the first card out all right is there any other messages for the sign of aquarius for the last half for the last half look at this exposed gay for pay so that's why you let y'all might be letting this uh king of forces go because he could have been sleeping with men for money and this person got too much pride and they continue to you guys are in this mermaid spirit so some of y'all might be sirens good sirens you know balance between the heart and the mind divine feminine and divine masculine so you guys are balanced in your masculinity and femininity okay y'all i'm getting redhead energy cloning you it could be a redhead cloning you I'll do anything to keep my family together. So it's like this king of king of wands energy. It's like they got somebody chasing behind them. They got somebody deeply embedded in that energy that's coming up as a snake multiple times. This person is a redhead that want to be like you because they know that they person love you and they willing to do anything to keep their family together. Meanwhile, you just balancing your life out and y'all moving on like this. You're not about to be a, a threat to this person anymore. It's like somebody here is secretly jealous. Didn't I say somebody want to be a siren, but they not. So y'all can be from Atlantis. Y'all can uh, uh, derive from Atlantis. Y'all can be like a siren, mommy water type energy. Okay. And somebody secretly jealous of that. Somebody could have like this redhead could have been a siren, but maybe this person lost their sound. They going through a continuous cycle of the dark night of the soul. And they jealous of your high level of intellect. Okay, so what else? For some of you, this person may be wearing a wig that look like your hair. I don't know why I always get that with certain. Yeah, somebody here gay. Okay, so like I said, that queen of wands, it's like that person might be heavily attracted to you or like having sex with you, but they got too much going on. They got a red hair here, but they also is gay. Okay, that gay for pay is not it. They really are gay. You are the one I want. I truly love you. You know, diamonds and pearls. It's like all this person wants is material gain. So they'll tell you anything. Don't let me leave. They want to be chased like a woman, but treated like a king. Okay, yeah. Wig is in reverse. So maybe they finally getting rid of that wig that they had that was like your hair. Weird. Possibly because everybody could tell. Pills and potion. That's what these. Mm, y'all, the people from y'all past is all up in y'all energy. It's a couple that's all up in y'all energy. Okay. People envy you because you don't desire to fit in. You're not a sheep like everybody else. I love you more than them. Past life connection. So it's like this person wanted you to compete with this redhead snake. Um. To prove your love. And it's like you just let this person go. This person could be dark skinned. Okay. It's very scientific. Science could be this person's life purpose. But they too busy being in secret competition. And just daydreaming about the future. Rather than doing anything about it. Constantly daydreaming about you. Not putting no actions to their goals, just daydreaming about like what if, you know, they pulled up on you and they was this cool ass scientist and you just like start bowing down to them. It's like, boy, stop daydreaming about dumb shit and get up and get your shit together because this person has yet to walk in a North Node. They too busy conforming to some type of organization. 
secret organization because it's more important for them to be high value. So it's like this person getting a value from a group that they got to be in. They could be around a lot of Middle Eastern people. Intimacy under moonlight, like all of their sex magic, all of their moon magic is not working no more. They addicted to your energy and your long care. But this person know that they got to clean up their addictions because they could be addicted to powder. Okay. They could be in contact with your neighbor or they could have been paying your neighbor to harass you or just do certain shit to make your life a living hell. Okay. Yeah. But you guys just started totally ignoring that. So it's like this person don't want to work with your ex anymore. Okay. It's something about your neighbor that's like a pedo or something. Maybe they sex offenders. Okay, so definitely be checking for that, especially if you got daughters or sons, because some of these people be, you know, shit. I'm getting an air sign tarot reader, okay? So some of y'all can be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini tarot readers, or y'all might have a tarot reader that's an air sign, okay? Y'all are a healer of hearts, but I feel like lately... Y'all been kind of like chilling because y'all don't want to keep damaging y'all own heart at the expense of healing other people. So y'all been kind of like kicking back because energy is currency. Y'all feel like y'all energy too expensive to just be like expelling and expelling on other people. Okay, so I see that by the end of this month, y'all gonna be liking somebody, telling y'all mama about them, telling y'all, telling y'all mama that that's their new son-in-law. And this person is emotionally and intellectually balanced, and they have a high level of personal power. All right, so y'all is y'all are coming into somebody. This person may be the one that's your real twin flame, because it's like a false twin flame from the past. That's on y'all ass. It's a couple of. Uh, of the opposite sex so even if you men it's a couple of women that want you back but y'all have you guys have evolved beyond these individuals so hopefully that helped like share comment and subscribe join the soul tribe and i'll check you guys out on the next one peace